Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the Morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. We have a cold one. Uh, wind chills in the teens to start. Uh, and then we get up temperature-wise. We get up to about 40 for the high today. Uh, but wind chill will make it feel much colder. Uh, freezing, at least bundle up. Um, you know, funny story from yesterday, Leah had jazz band last night and it wasn't until seven o'clock at night. And so like 645, we're getting ready to leave the house and she comes downstairs in just like a little sweater. Like, uh, it's not even thick. It's just, you know, whatever. <laughs> right. And I go, uh, Leah, we are not leaving this house until your jacket is on and zipped all the way up. Oh, Dad. Yeah. Well, I think every parent listening knows they take their kid to school or they leave the house for school or they go somewhere and they either walk out without a jacket or they it's it's not on, it's on one arm or it's not zipped up. It's winter time, Candy. Come on. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I know it is, but I remember my kids pulling that and also not tying their shoes, which seemed to be a trend. Like leaving with their shoes untied. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It makes me crazy. Uh, I used to, now back when I was in high school or junior high, high school, it was like a trend to have like colorful, thick shoelaces and not tie them. Um, yeah, I don't get it. Yeah. I did that back in the day for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I sent you a picture uh, while we were... Off the air there, uh, listening to some music. I sent you a picture of uh, Leah's Vaseline all lined up, like I told you. <laughs> yes. It's what do you think? It's all lined up in size order. It's very cute. Uh, does it remind you of uh, that movie Sleeping with the Enemy where uh, oh, the husband... Oh, <laughs> oh, no. You had... Oh, no, it did not. Oh. oh. Movie. What a horrible man. Yes, that was that was bad. Speaking of which, before we get to this article I wanted to get to, I, I have to apologize to you because you sent me a picture, uh, and I have to, I'm going to look at the time because uh, I did not respond to you last night. It's all night. right. It's all right. I'm, uh, I'm used to being ignored. Oh, the, so the, you, sent me a, <laughs> you sent me a picture at 12.51 p.m. Yeah. yesterday. Yes. At that exact time, I was taking a nap. No problem. And I woke up, I looked at the picture, and I completely forgot to respond. It is your beautiful granddaughter, Maeve. It is. Uh, she's eating a cookie or something, right? She's having lunch. Could be toast. Could be a waffle. I'm not quite sure what it is. All um, right. But she's so cute. So I had to share with Uncle Fathead because I know you love to get every picture I can give you of my sweet Maeve. Yeah, I got to send that to the family. Um, <laughs> uh, her hair looks so soft. Is it she soft? has my hair. It's fine. And not yes, thick. it is, and yes, it is it's fine. very soft. I have very soft hair. But she has my awful hair. Casey has it too. Evan? No. He's got nice thick hair. Okay? Yeah. We missed the boat on that. Evan uh, gets Jackie everything. Has a ca Man. <laughs> Kelly has beautiful hair. Jackie's sister, her mother. All right, her father's bald. But that's another story. Um, yeah, she has my fine limp hair. Sorry. Well, Sorry, she. Baby. She does look cute, though. Very she nice. She does look cute, mm -hmm. no matter what her hair looks like. So I'm reading this thing this morning about social norms that people are sick of. Now, we're, tipping is not on here. We've had many discussions about yes. tipping. Uh, we, we love our servers. When we go out to restaurants, you, you have to take extra special care and tip uh, extra to them. But obviously, when you walk into a, a pizza place and the screen says, want to leave a tip, that's a different story, right? So Very aggravating. That's what's right. starting the ball rolling. Right. So, But tipping's not on here. But other social norms, okay, that are widely accepted that people are now saying are, quote, overrated or harmful. All right, want to see what All you right, think. All right, let's let's hear about this. All right. Um not valuing changing one's mind. Instead, we as a society admire those who stick to their beliefs consistent and no matter what, even if they have to die on that hill, will not evolve as a person and will never change their mind. That is a social norm people are sick of. Uh candy thoughts. 
I think you should have always have an open mind and be willing to see things from someone else's point of view. Yeah. Okay. So, no, there you go. I don't fall into that category. That's right. So you're you you agree that is an that is a harmful social norm to uh, to not change your mind at a certain point. Uh, yeah. You have to be open. Now it's by the way. It's good to be consistent and and believe in something. Absolutely. But yeah, you have I to... have things that I believe in and right. base my voting. We're not going to mm. get all political on those beliefs. Uh, that being said, um, if you sway me in an amazing discussion, which I've yet to hear, I could change my mind. And uh, you know, like I said, open mind. By the way, P, P, the first thing, like you said, per, first thing people go to is political. I, I, it doesn't even have to be that. Like, here's a great example. Uh, Candy, the greatest running back in the history of the NFL that I've ever seen is Barry Sanders. You're not changing my mind. That's it. Ever? It, Never? It, you're, you're not changing. Michael Jordan, I, you could give me LeBron and, <laughs> and Kareem and whoever. Candy, there Never? is no better. Ne- Michael... I, I'm dying on that hill. Michael Jordan is the greatest all basketball right. player of all time. That's it. So there are certain things I will not change my mind on. But I think yes. in the sports world, you have very, very hard line opinions for sure. That's Halloween? Say. Halloween? Awful. Cancel Halloween. <laughs> well, you don't like it. We're not going to like it. Well, I might like it again when I'm taking Maeve trick-or-treating. You know, so see, I could change. Yeah, yes, uh, that's true. All right, here's another one. Uh, society norms that uh, uh, people uh, think it's harmful. Uh, okay, monetizing and quantifying everything, especially hobbies. Like people now can't even collect baseball cards. They have to figure out how much is it worth how much am I making from these baseball cards? You understand? They can't just enjoy the moment with them. That's right. Is that can't what we, you're saying? Can't we just enjoy a hobby without trying right. to monetize or quantify, please? Okay. Let's talk to all the Beanie Baby owners at this time, shall we? <laughs> unless you're still you're, cute. Yeah. Absolutely worthless, but still cute. Well, unless you have a mint condition in the box, Princess Diana Beanie right. Baby. Right. Uh, that that one, one's worth something. Don't take that one out of the box, okay? Exactly. Um, this one I agree with. This is a bad uh, norm in society. The normalization and celebration sometimes of unsafe driving, even glorifying uh, uh, drunk driving and things of that nature. You see, you know, you see a lot of oh yeah, uh, I'm fine. I can drive. That could, that you know what? That is a bad society. Norm Candy. I think that's been going on for the beginning of, of, of time, basically. That's, yeah. that's right. But it, I agree time, with you. It's not good. Time, time to, to uh, go. change. Time to change. Um, how about this one? Hustle culture. Bragging about not sleeping, not being healthy because you're a doer and a goer and a pusher. I hate that. Yeah, you got to get your rest from time to time. <laughs> you got to. You gotta lay down. Just lay down. Oh, right. the young, the young, the old, the old. You know, in college, hmm. you stayed up all, I don't know if you did, but I am a procrastinator. So I'd stay up all night to do a paper and go to class and go to work and my whole day and not have one minute of sleep and be perfectly fine. If I did yeah. that today, it would be a big difference. Yes, even like we had the concert Monday night. Uh, yesterday, I took two different naps at two different times <laughs> uh, and still went to bed at 8.30 at night. <laughs> like, it takes me a full day to recover, at least. At this stage, yes. But in your 20s, no, it didn't. Agreed. I was pushing and, yeah. Oh, I could do this without sleeping. Absolutely. There's a couple other things on the uh, on the list, but I will uh, end with this one. Um Somebody thought enough of sprinkles on donuts to say that it is time to get rid of sprinkles off of donuts because not only do they stain your fingers, but if you're like in the car, you can't just eat a donut. Like the sprinkles will fall everywhere. Your thoughts, Candy, on sprinkles on donuts. Oh, that, <laughs> you know, if you got to get that serious about sprinkles on donuts, what's wrong in your life? 
I don't even like sprinkles, but I don't care if they're on donuts. I don't care if you like them. Go for it. You, you don't like a little sprinkle on no. your uh, ice cream or something? No. no. Really? No, uh -huh. I do not like All right. sprinkles. All right, that's a shame. we got to change that. <laughs> Uh, Candy, we have uh, plenty more to get to today. Your next Bald and the Beautiful Entertainment comes up at about 8.12. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood. Uh, Going to tell you about a scam to look out for. We'll do that at about 8.47. Uh, we got National Days and Good News Stories around then as well. It is chilly. The wind chill feels like the teens right now. Uh, the temperature only gets up to about 40 and will feel like 30 uh, with the wind chill today or maybe even less into the uh, high 20s. Bundle up. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.